Hello interioristas, I'm Ash Appleton. Welcome back to An African Eye. We've got a really exciting episode coming all the way from the social house in Nairobi. It's a wonderful place and we have a special guest as well, James Stewart, who's going to talk us through the design concept and give you lots of ideas that you can use at home. So keep watching. Welcome to the show, James. Lovely to have you on. Thank and you for having me. Yeah, really great to have you. And obviously you're the brain behind the concept of the social mm -hmm. house. So, James, can you describe the social house? What is the social house and what makes it different? Mm. In a nutshell, the social house is uh, Nairobi's own melting pot. Uh, we didn't want it to be too one-dimensional. So the idea behind it was obviously driven by this idea of adventure and surprise and intrigue. Uh, we wanted it to be a catalyst for people to socialize, um, people to do business together, people to fall in love, families to reconnect, but the whole thing was going back to the original concept of hospitality with a small h. We also decided to focus on locals as opposed to overseas customers to begin with. Well, that's interesting. Because we wanted this yes. place to feel Kenyan. Yes. And so we have four restaurants and bars. We wanted those restaurants and bars to be full of locals so that when overseas guests came in, the locals were almost part of the brand and part of the product. So it gave overseas people and locals a sense of a certain new Kenya, a certain less uh, formal uh, Kenyan hospitality uh, personality. So in terms of what people can bring from here back into their homes, particularly for people who are renting, what could you, what would you suggest? I would encourage anyone that is uh, approaching any interior design yes. project to start not by looking for inspiration, but by looking at themselves and saying, what, do, what, what kind of home do I want? And the answer to that isn't, I want a red kitchen and mm. you know this and that. It's, what feel do I want this yes. place to have? What do, I, what do I, what would I like people to say about this place when they come for dinner? Imagine they left and they're sitting in their car going home. What would they say about the place they've just been, apart from the people, what yeah. would they say about the feeling and the flavor and the personality of your home? Because people always talk about that in terms of your, your personal brand, yeah. but to hear that applied to your home, or, that's really interesting when you yeah. extend it to that. But in a yes. way, your yes. home is, the, is yes. probably the most obvious expression of your own personal style. Your car isn't, because yes. there are only a certain number of brands of cars you can buy. Sure, if you buy a Porsche or yeah. you buy a um, you know, Toyota, it probably says something about you. But when it comes to your home, you know, in terms of the furniture, in terms of the lighting, in terms of the aromas, in terms of the views, all of those things can be shaped by you. So it is a highly personal expression. And I think it's really important before you say, this is how I want my kitchen to look and this is how I want the bathroom to look, to stand back and say, what do I want the whole thing to evoke? And that's essentially what we did here. I love this place. I can't, I can't get enough of it. I love the fact that it's fun, but it's still sophisticated. Mm -hmm. It's not taking itself too seriously, but then the standards mm. are still so high. All the touch points, all the custom experiences. It's you interesting. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You use the word sophisticated yes. because, yeah. and not just here, mm -hmm. but all around the world, the notion of sophistication, luxury yes. uh, in hospitality yes. is very formal. Yes. It's sir uh, and madam and top hats and yes. waistcoats and bellboys and concierge mm. and maitre d's and all of those things that basically come from 19th century Europe. Yes. What on earth relevance does that have to the kinds of Kenyans and overseas guests yeah. that we've been talking about? Um, and so our desire here was necessarily specifically Kenyan. That's just as much Kenyan in a way, because Kenyan is more cosmopolitan. Well, what, do, what do you mean by elements that are not ex specifically well, Kenyan? Well, people, yeah. you know, you yourself have yeah. worked and lived overseas, yeah. um, and you pick up all sorts of, of interesting yes. things. I lived yes. in Asia for 30 yes. years. A lot of my design yeah. sensibilities are shaped yes. by yeah. Thai, Vietnamese mm. design. Um, 
So if I went back to Ireland, for example, to open a restaurant or bar, there would inevitably be elements of what I, uh, what we would design that would evoke parts of Asia. So, you know, a Kenyan such as yourself, Kenyanness is not just what you have done and experienced here, it's what you as a Kenyan have done elsewhere and brought that back. It doesn't mean it's any less Kenyan, it just means it has more of a, a global, um, what, do, what, what we came up with the term for Kenyapolitan. 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 Yeah, so cosmopolitan and Yeah, because I've heard Afropolitan, but I like this Kenyapolitan. Kenyapolitan, yeah. That's a really good one, Kenyapolitan. <laughs> Anything else that you can think of when you're sort of coming up with a concept for your home? Yeah. Maybe it's a rental apartment, it you know, hasn't got much personality to start with. So. Yeah, I think yeah. one thing is if you're going to do something that's special and unique yes. to you, which I always think people yeah. should do rather yeah. than you know, going yes. off and yes. doing an identikit home. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the key thing is to know that you have to be original. Because otherwise, someone's going to walk into your home and, and say, well, you know, this, or they may not say it because they may yes. be too polite, yes. but they're thinking, I saw this in, you know, in a, a Habitat catalogue, yeah. or doesn't that come from Ikea? or? Yeah. Didn't I see that on a program? So I think, I think the first thing is to realize that you have to take some risks and it won't all work on day one, right? That's really good advice. But don't, yes. don't lose yes. the concept because yes. certain, element, uh, certain elements of it haven't worked. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a fine balance between reflecting who you are as a person through design and trying to impress people through design. You know, oh. I want people to walk okay. away saying, yes. oh, that was great. This is yeah. Of course, we would all love things that we've designed, whether yes. it's interiors or something else. Yes. Um, we'd, we'd like people to love it, but the most important thing is you're living there every day, right? So don't worry too much about what anyone else may think, so as long as you and your partner and yes. your family yeah. aren't yeah. completely put off by your yeah. design focus. Um, do it for yourself, but, and don't, don't be too scared to be utterly original and do things that are really of you and not of Pinterest and design magazines and I mean of course get get some inspiration from them. I think one thing I, I, I take away from the social house which I I mean it just speaks to who I am is mm. attention to detail it's mm -hmm. every time everything was you know from the uniform the yeah. staff uniforms the little neon pen that you use for table reservations. Yep. So attention to detail really comes from what we were discussing earlier about this idea of placing the brand at the heart of everything you yes. do. And just to be boring for a minute, the way we look at brands is in, in the context of a hotel is it's the entirety of the experience. It's not so much the packaging. The packaging, you know, whoever said, I want to go to that hotel because I love their name or I love their <laughs> logo. Yeah. But those things can yes. embrace and dramatize the reality. In our case, we had to make our point of difference very clear from the moment people walked in. But even our signs, you know, hello yeah, and goodbye. goodbye. Yeah, I love, I love and, those. you know, the washrooms, yes. girls and boys. Yeah, yeah. And they're called loos, not yes. toilets, yes. and so on. Yes. So it's all, and, it, and that partly goes back to your point of detail. Yes. You know, if we had all of this, and then we called them washrooms, WC ladies and gents, yes. we had the usual. Yes. yes. That just, wouldn't be us. And I think I think that's the mistake a lot of people make when they're styling or decorating their homes. They forget about the details. They mm. forget about the overall vision. Yep. And they start taking shortcuts, yep. and then so it it doesn't quite hang together. Right. So I think you really have to be quite almost quite, you know, I, I'm, I don't want to use that, I mean, more polite way of saying it, but you've got to be very uh, detail-orientated yeah. and then be, stick to that, yeah. that vision. Be relentless. Yes, be, yeah, relentless. There's no settling yeah. here. And that's very clear, there's no settling. Yeah. I think it's a really good note to end on, the fact that you said, I mean, that's really, there's no settling, you've talked about having no personality. Compromise. No compromise. At home, well, whatever you're designing. Yeah, so I think in terms of takeaways yeah. from, you know, from, our conversation is about not settling, being relentless about what you want, mm -hmm. the results, 
personality and I think and your home being almost an extension of your brand yeah I think it was a really it's an extension of your personal yes, brand yes which can so be interesting if it's a couple designing yes, the home yes and their personalities you, are quite you kind of need to find a, a sweet spot between but that's yes. but but in yeah. a way then that's reflecting your relationship yes no, um, I mean, and have fun, for goodness sake. Design is such a lovely thing. Absolutely. Um, I wish yeah. I'd been an interior designer. Yeah. Uh, so you have to have fun with it, right? You yes. have to have fun. Thank you so much, James, for being on the show. I mean, I'm just, my head, I'm just buzzing with all the ideas and in terms of inspiration and concepts and mm. just, you know, just sensible advice, you know, that people can take away mm -hmm. from today and start implementing at home. So hope that was inspiring. Hope you enjoyed it. Please drop us a line in the comments. Let me know what you think. We'd love to know, you know, what, what you're going to change at home watch after watching this. Share, like, subscribe, tell your friends about this video and see you in the next one. Bye.